Welcome back. I'm Tia Turnbull, your champion of champions. This is Keep It 100, and right now you're learning to me, through me. How does it work? Well, you know how people say, oh, this always happens to me. People put events outside themselves and say they're happening to them, or they believe that they're happening for them. But the truth is, it's through you, as you, and from you. Now, if this was the case, if you could put this into effect, how would you go about using that? What's well, the same thing I've been saying with everything? Things are not happening to you. There's no one out to get you or nothing out to get you. There's nothing against you. And it's not even happening for you. It's not happening for you because you want it. It's happening for you because you're creating it for you, which means it's happening as you. It's happening through you, from you to you. You're the one who decides. Even the one who thinks all these bad things are happening to them, they're creating those situations. Remember common denominator? Who's always there? Why do these kind of people always show up in my life? Why do good things always happen to me? Why do bad things always happen to me? If you realize it's as you, through you, and from you, to you, then you become the powerful one to say yes to certain things and to say no to certain things. If you say to yourself, if I'm creating this, what would I want to create? What would I create if I knew that I was the creator? And this isn't about going back into the past and saying, you mean I created that and I created that and I, oh, no way, I couldn't, I created that and then beating yourself up because you didn't do it right. No, never, ever, ever beat yourself about, up about anything. The past was there for lessons. And remember the law of attraction where it was don't want, do want, already have? All those things that you didn't want were there to show you because here's what happens. Every time your mind focuses on a don't want, it instantly comes up with a do want, all right, which is the last video that we watched. But in this, when you realize that I'm the one who's creating all of this, and it's happening from me to me, I say, what do I want to give myself? I don't have to beg some person up in the sky. I don't have to do a whole bunch of stuff in order to create karma, do good things so good things will come back. I just have to think about what is it I actually want, know that it's in my capability to not only name it, but to be it and live as it, and I'm the decider of that. And then I go about just being and living as if it's already so. And then taking the actions I need to take in order to have it be so. And then I'm not putting it outside of me or on other people or projecting it out there and saying, you did it to me, you did it to me. Oh, everything's happening. Everything's happening to me from out here. No, it's all happening through me from in here as me. So if I say... What do I want to happen? And if I say, as I say it is so, so it is, what would I say is already so? Remember Law of Attraction? Already so? Already is? Don't want, do want, already have? What would I say I already have if I could choose to already have anything? Because it's happening through me. So. Remember, whenever you, you're projecting something out there, it's really coming from inside yourself and you're saying, you did it to me, you did it to me, you did it to me. If you're complaining or resisting or fighting something, trying to stop something, that means you're giving your attention to something that you don't want. That's still inviting it. That's still saying yes to it. So here, I'm going to do a little... I'm going to do a little uh, thing with you, okay? Okay, this hand is uh, complaining about something that you don't want, right? And this hand is living in what you can celebrate, what you're saying you do want, right? Now, you have a choice. You can choose this hand and continue to complain about something you don't want, or you can choose this hand and live as if the thing you do want is already so, okay? Because as long as you're complaining about something, you're still living with it. 
right? If you're fighting it and resisting it and putting your attention on it, it's still there in your life. So you have a choice. You have it in your life or you don't. That's your choice. Which one would you choose? Are you going to choose to keep complaining? Because sometimes we get things for complaining. We get attention. We get sympathy. We get people giving us these things to help us and fix us and, and save us from ourselves because we keep choosing this. But what would it be like, instead of getting the sympathy and people feeling sorry for you, what would it be like to actually live in what it is you say you're wanting, even though you keep choosing this? Do you want to live in what you are saying you actually want? Or do you want to keep choosing to complain about what you don't want? It's up to you. Here you go. Choose to complain or choose to be in what you keep saying you want. Because as long as you're over here, you're not really choosing what it is you want. You're choosing to complain about what you don't want. So when you choose this one, you're not complaining anymore. Because you're the one who says yes to yourself. So you either choose to complain or you choose to live as if what you want is already so. It's your choice. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Choose a hand. Which one do you want? Which one do you actually want? Because as long as you're choosing this, you don't really want that. You want to complain. That's what you really want. That's why you're choosing it. Whatever it is you really want, that's what it is you do. So here you go. Complaint. Living as if it's already so. Because it's from you to you. Always. All right, so make your choice. All right, now that you made your choice, now all it is is about finding out. How do you do that? How do you step into the already have and make it all come about? And there'll be lots more videos with all those strategies and skills to have you step into the life you already want so you're not over there in that complaint anymore. But if you choose to keep complaining and getting whatever sympathies and whatever you get for that, that's fine too. People do that. Uh, no judgment here. You choose whatever you want. But if you really do want something that's over here, I'm going to help you get there. Okay. I am Tia Turnbull, your champion of champions. This is Keep It 100. This is To Me, Through Me. And if you would like to see more of these videos, hit the like, subscribe, and tap the bell, and you will be notified when the next one comes out. In the meantime, champion yourself to be a champion.